August has come and gone as quick as anything and we are now heading into the month of September. The monthly awards have been handed out as well so Manchester City's legendary midfielder Yaya Torre has received the player of the month and Vargas, the loanee from Napoli at QPR has come in second there. That's very promising. Arsenal's Callum Chambers has scooped the Young Player of the Month award. No other QPR players mentioned there. Goal of the Month goes to Sigurdsson with that strike against West Ham. But Vargas comes in third with his goal against Leicester. The Manager of the Month award goes to City's Pellegrini. In second, you've got Van Gaal from United. And in third, you've got Leicester's Nigel Pearson. The summer transfer window has now slammed shut. I completed all my business earlier on. You can see that in earlier videos, but you can see more of the major transfers. So, Cuadrado from Fiorentina to Chelsea. Vertonghen went from Tottenham to Manchester United. And Kadira went from Real Madrid to Arsenal. And I think that was the biggest transfer in Spain. I don't think Real Madrid have been that active or Barcelona. No, you, you can see that biggest spenders Real Madrid with just 7.5 that's so weird to see and there we go so the transfer deadline day has passed and we'll just I need to bring in Jesse yet yeah, Lingard's been done Rob Green drops out unfortunately but in comes Adrian and Alex McCarthy is my two goalkeepers so there we go so now we just got to keep moving on with the season we've got West Brom to play next and Jack Robinson who is on loan at Huddersfield at the moment, but he's at the age of 21. Look at those attributes for a left back, for a left wing back. Sensational. And I mean, he's got loads, loads of time remaining in his career to improve on that. So, you know, I think if we, I don't want to speak too loudly. If I, you know, pick up any major injuries with Traore or Young in that, that position in the left, I might have to recall him. I might. Because he seems like a very decent player for that position. We'll just have to see how it goes. And I will definitely be keeping a very close eye on this lad as he continues his loan at Huddersfield. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, Vargas. Oh, why is this happening to me? He was just about to return to full fitness, ready for team selection again. And now he's gone and pulled his hamstring in. He's going to be out for three to four weeks. That's a month. He's going to be out for a month. Unbelievable. When he was just showing so much in front of goal for QPR. That's a, that, oh, that's a bit of a blow, that. You can see some of the headlines here as well. Looks like United are taking on Liverpool next. Yes, they are with the early early lunchtime kickoff there at Old Trafford. Oh, that, that's so disappointing. It really is. Vargas out. Going to have to... I mean, we've we've got covered. We've got Charlie Austin, we've got Darren Bent, and we've got Bobby Zamora. Oh, Manchester United lost 1-0. So, they, they're not going to go and beat him now. Liverpool have brought that to an end. So, we've, we've got to keep pushing on anyway to our next game against West Brom, which is at home, thankfully. But now that Vargas is going to be out, we're going to have to bring in Darren Bent. I think he's going to have to work alongside Charlie Austin for the time being. Let's bring in Fallen on the bench. Could maybe start Sandro. No, yeah, Sandro will start because he's fully fit for this game. Darren Bent and Charlie Austin. I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with my midfield as well. My back, three, four, whatever you want to call it. I've only got two centre halves. I bring in Rio for Stephen Colker, who's not looking too fit for this game. He's doing fantastic though. Bring in Jesse Lingard. I can actually start Lingard now because I didn't re register when I uh, signed him on loan from United initially. So he's in the team now. And I'm looking forward to uh, actually using him throughout the season. And so we just wait for the game to, uh, to load for the teams to warm up. And we'll get straight into it. So QPR considered favourites. A defeat for QPR could see them slide into the relegation zone. Well, it's still early days, but... I don't want to be there. How much of a boost is Jakob's absence? Any team would miss a player of his calibre. The absence of Vargas is sure to be felt. How hard will it be without his services? We've looked good in training and we're prepared for this eventuality. So there's West Brom's starting lineup. So they've got Brown and Day up front, Chris Brunt, Varela, Dorans, Malumbu, Baird. They've got Lescott, Pocanoli. And uh, Gambo and Ben Foster starts in goal. There's my starting lineup. You've already seen it. Rio and, and Noah starts at the back. We've got Ishlar, Sandro, Treore, Muchver, Hoylet, 
Austin and Bent up front. Bent comes in to start his first game for QPR. First competitive game this season. So let's get on with this Premier League game against West Brom. Let's grab ourselves three points. We definitely need it. Don't want to be slipping down into the uh, the relegation zone this early on. So here we go. West Brom get kick off. The bag is. Nicely intercepted that. We take it control early on. Keep that possession. Charlie Austin down the right side here now. Whips in the ball. Trying to find Darren Bent. Trying to get his head on the end of it. Because he's deadly in the air, Darren Bent. Nice ball there from Anoa. Trying to find Charlie Austin. For, I'm liking this passing game. Ishlar beats his man. For, up to much. Sandro. Hoyler. Hoylert goes for the shot. And Charlie Austin on the rebound. Ben Foster couldn't hold on to... Uh, Hoylet shot and Austin was there, deadly as ever, and puts QPR 1-0 in the lead. Let's have a look at that. That was some way out as well from Hoylet. Good, powerful shot. Ben Foster unable to hold on to it, which cost his team a goal. They are now on the back foot, but West Brom, here they come, pushing for an equaliser, but they're not going to get it anytime soon as we are about to hit them on the break. Kishlar now passing it back to Anoa. Sandro Much. This is a good look at the space over on the left side there for Traore. Oh, Charlie Austin does it again. Oh, it's offside. Very similar situation to the first goal there. A long shot outside the box. Ben Foster couldn't hold on to it. And Austin was there again to strike, to capitalise. Oh, no much is injured. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Right, um, do I bring on... I could bring on Jesse Lingard, actually. Yeah, let's bring on Lingard. Let's give him a chance in front of the home fans. Let's see what he can do. I could have brought on Fallen. But I don't want to uh I don't want to bring him on just yet because he's quality all around. Oh, that was poor. That was poor. From Varela. Traore, long throw out to Rio. Lingard now. Gets his first touch of the game. Here he is. Finds Hoylet. And assists him with the goal. Well done, Jesse Lingard. Wow. Every time he touches the ball, he comes up with something really good. Saw the space that Hoylet found himself in. Smack that into the back of the net. So we're 2-0 up. Jesse Lingard takes a free kick here. Knocks it into the box. Oh, and Charlie Austin offside again. Could have made it three. What a time to make it three as well. With just 22 minutes gone. That would have been amazing. Oh, Ishtar, down to 67% conditioning. Need to keep an eye on that. Malumbo on a yellow card now. Will there be a reply, a response from West Brom? So far, it doesn't look like there's going to be. I kind of expected better from them. Lingard. Oh, what a pass. What vision from Lingard. Finding Darren Bent. He was trying to pick out that top right-hand corner. But decent work again by Jesse Lingard. Brilliant stuff. Ishlal doing okay at the moment. Hoylet's picked up a knock. Oh, my second goal scorer of the game. There is half time. I might have to take off Hoylet. See how we go. Be passionate. I'm very happy. Keep it up, lads. We can take it to West Brom again in the second half. Maybe grab two more goals. Just finish this game. I might with Jesse Lingard he can play as a central attack in mid so what I'll do here is I could play fall in in central midfield and I'll take Hoylet off I don't want to risk him picking up uh, a nasty injury worsening in it oh Gamboa with a foul there is he going to get a card or is he just going to get a stern telling off he's going to get a yellow alright Jesse Lingard to whip it in <sighs> oh that's a delivery and a half that that is a delivery and a half. Darren Bent gets his first goal of the season. His first goal in a QPR shirt. But that is a delivery and a half. Oh, just Jesse Lingard. He's my man of the match so far. After bringing him on to replace an injured Jordan Much, He's just stormed this game. He really has. And I've switched that to control now. We've really got this in the bag. Can't see what's going on here. Oh, Barrino makes it 3-1. Oh, it's offside. Woo! Right, we keep that clean sheet then for Adrian. Oh no! You've got to be kidding me. Jesse Lingard has now gone and picked up an injury. 
but I mean it's at 64% he might be able to just fight his way through I mean I'm a bit thin on the ground for options in that position and I'm thinking Ishla needs to oh I don't know I don't want to risk Ishla I'm going to take off Ishla he's not doing too well maybe that was a bad move maybe I should have took Jesse but I've got no options Got no options to replace Jesse Lingard. Lingard whips in the ball. Could have made it 4-0 there. He's doing okay at the moment, Lingard. He might be able to just fight through. Just getting the ball into the box here. Sandro staying back. Barinho. Barinho. Oh, it's Lescott that gets it, that makes it 3-1. I thought it was going to be Barinho. He's making such a nuisance of himself. Brunt whips in the ball from that set piece, from that free kick. Oh, Lescott. Just a simple tap in for him. Oh, come on, lads. Don't let me down now. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. It's 3-2. There's not long left to go as well. <laughs> West Brom, they're really, really looking for that equaliser now. It's a brilliant fight back. So what I'm going to do here is contain fluid and waste time where's waste time there it is maybe that's a bit of a risk I don't know I don't want to put it on attacking because oh here we go we've got a chance maybe Rio to Traore let's just make it 4-2 that just pegged them back and that'll probably deflate them and they'll just give up them hopefully here we go Jesse Lingard finds Austin yes there it is that's it the game's over it's got to be that's his fifth goal of the season as well. It's got to be over. What a what a way to score as well. Lingard assist him with another goal there for QPR. Just a simple, simple pass into the bottom right, left-hand corner. Not the right-hand corner. Just so simple. And it, oh, it's a beautiful goal. Charlie Austin on fire at the moment. And there's the final score. We do go on to beat the Baggers 4-2. But we do have a couple of injuries to be worried about. Much Hoylet and Jesse Lingard. Look at possession. We really controlled this game and we move up to fifth with just uh, three points behind the league leaders at the moment, Manchester City. But we're only four games in, but we might be able to stay up, up in the top half of the table because we've got West Ham next and they're not having the best of times. Right, Jordan Much is going to be out for two weeks with a gashed lower leg. That's not good. But at least he'll be back in no time. Jesse Lingard will be out for five to six days with whiplash. Whiplash. And I don't think there's anything. You know what? I'm going to Lingard impresses for QPR. I'm going to just go and praise him because he was brilliant in that game against West Brom. Stay passionate. You were superb with a number of quality chances created. Brilliant stuff. Right. It just seems to be one injury after the other. Yun Suk Young is now going to be out for five to six weeks. It's longer than a month. That's a long time to be out with a sports hernia. So now I've only really got, for important games, I've only really got one left back or left wing back in Traore. This is unfair. All right, so we're playing West Ham away. Just waiting for the teams to warm up here. You know, West Ham, you can see slightly there, just outside the relegation zone. They've lost three games already this season and they've uh, won one. So it hasn't been the best of starts for them. But they do have some good players in the team like Sacco up front and uh, Enna Valencia who's got the pace down the right side. Ravel Morrison, um, no ball. They've got Song as well in that defensive midfield position to bring calmness to the team. I'm going with Ben, Austin, Hulet, Barton, Fur, Sandro, Traore, Ishla, Rio and Noah. Also, just to know, Adrian returns to Upton Park to face his former side, West Ham. So it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on there with the uh, the West Ham fans jeering him from behind the goal. It's going to be interesting, this fixture, I think. Hopefully we can uh, bag ourselves another set of three points. We need it. We need it. Don't want to be falling down the table anytime soon. Darren Bent offside. He grabbed his first goal for the club. First competitive goal, first Premier League goal of the season in that game against West Brom. Hopefully he is now up and running. I hope so anyway. And here comes Noble for West Ham. Oh, what on earth was that? 
Was that a shot or was that supposed to be a cross into the box trying to seek out Sacco? Who knows? All I know is that it was incredibly poor from this angle in the 2D. But West Ham, they're doing well so far when it comes to possession. They're really controlling it. And thankfully, Adrian is looking sharp because he hasn't conceded any goals yet. Then Looks like they've had quite a few chances. Just reading the, uh, the text commentary down below that. And coming up to half-time then, still nil-nil. Can we get one? Can we nick a goal? No, we can't. Apparently, it's been a very drab match so far. It is. Nil-nil. The game definitely needs a goal to liven things up. Not happy with your performance out there. Yes, good reaction. Players looking fired up and motivated. Especially Adrian. And uh, Trey Ore, mm, not, not the best of reactions there. He's just listened in keenly. Let's get on then. We need more energy in that final third from QPR we need to start supplying Benton Charlie Austin with some balls he's not crossing the men oh no O'Brien finds Sacco it's an easy goal it's an easy goal what was Rio doing I'm not happy about that Sacco just handed a goal basically one on one with Adrian let's have a look there was a mistake definitely there by Rio Keep watching Rio. There's Sacco as he pulls in. What on earth is Rio doing? Why is he running away? Rio's coming off for that. Can't allow him to be making mistakes like that. Probably should have started Corker to be fair. But I just wanted that experience. And Rio certainly hasn't brought that experience to this game. As we are one goal behind against West Ham. Yes, there's time still to get back into it. But we shouldn't be conceding goals like that. That, that was just disappointing. I'll demand more from the team. We've been fairly poor pushing the ball forwards. Hopefully a shift in momentum will happen. Here we go, Austin finds Tarat. Oh, hold on, Song, who's already on a yellow, has been given a second. He is off West Ham, down to 10 men. This is it now. This is our chance to go and get an equaliser uh, and maybe turn this game around completely and get a winner. That'd be fantastic. Still disappointed by that goal that Rio gave them against his former side pretty much. How did Austin miss that? Nylon pulling off a good save. Tarat now with the corner. Bent. Bent. Pass it back down to Tarat. Look at the space Tarat's in. Oh my god. He's going it alone. We've got another corner. Should have gave that to Tarat. Tarat takes the other corner. Give it to Tarat. Oh, look at the space that Tarat's in. Oh, this is disappointing. Tarat again. Treore. To Barton. Sandro. For Tarat, Austin, yes, okay, 1-1, one, one. that's good, that's his sixth goal of the season, okay, we've got time now to go and find that winner, Fur to Tarat, and look at Charlie Austin, just on side as well, good finish, good finish, come on, they're going to shut up shop now, I know West Ham, I'm not sure whether I should go overload or I don't want to risk it either going overload because then West Ham can then hit us on the counter and they've got some good forwards as well in Ravel, Morrison and Sacco. Oh, Adrian, what a save. Save QPR from going behind it once again and there's the final score. 1-1, one, one. we just come away from Upton Park with a point to show. It was a bit of a disappointing performance from QPR. Very disappointed in Rio after he handed that goal to uh, Sacco. And you could see that we had the majority of possession as well in that game. And we're still in sixth. We're in the top half. And with that, guys, I'm going to end it there for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.